James Rail wouldn't let go. This is the voicemail he left for a young woman who broke up with him two years ago. It's James. I just wanted to uh, see how you're doing and uh, maybe hear from you. It's been a while since I've talked to you. Please give me a call back. Thank you. The next day, a ring camera captures Rail as he shows up at his ex's house outside Dayton, Ohio. Inside the house are his ex-girlfriend and her parents. There's some guy on my front porch, and he won't leave, and he's got his hands behind his back. Rail tries the door handle, and the father shouts a warning through the door. Then Rail loses it. He tries to smash in the door with his shoulder. The next thing that happens, gunfire. The father has opened fire. He broke through the door and my dad shot at him. <laughs> Rail collapses in the driveway, fatally wounded. You saved my life, Dad. These photos show the damage Rail did when he forced the front door open. And this is the father, Mitchell Ducro, later that day at the police station. Once I realized he was getting in and the door was open is when I shot his daughter, 22-year-old Allison Ducro, was also interviewed by police. That voicemail from last night had already scared me. A grand jury voted 8-1 to one not to indict the father, citing Ohio's Stand Your Ground law. Now the slain man's sister tells me she wants a more extensive investigation into the killing. There wasn't a full investigation done. They were only on the scene for two hours and then rushed it to the grand jury. Jessica Colbert admits we may never know what her brother hoped to accomplish when he went to the house that fateful day. My brother had no history of anger or violence. He was very kind and compassionate. Shelby County that, Sheriff James uh, Fry. This is a no-win situation for any of the parties that are involved. It is very, very sad. I just don't understand how there was not more compassion for James's life. The county sheriff tells us they did conduct a full and thorough investigation.